Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Halim Ali and I am a family member, a family leader. My civic project is called the Mile High Chess Club. And why the Mile High Chess Club? What I wanted to do today was address the disparities that, ex that exist between blacks and whites, between class and class, because oftentimes we misappropriate the problem. So I'd like to talk about the problem in America, and thus the reason why the Mile High Chess Club. The root of the problem within black America is not teenage pregnancy, drugs, the decline in family values, anger, rap music, unemployment, or even the epidemic of violent crime. These are only symptoms of a deeper problem. The root problem in black communities across America is race and unjust distribution of our nation's wealth, power, and resources. Blacks own and control less than 2% of the wealth in urban, um, in, 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 blacks own and control less than 2% of the wealth, power, and resources of the nation. So they have little control over their lives and the conditions in which they are forced to live. Leonard P. Curry, author of The Free Black in Urban America, 1800 to 1850, said more than one third of the black population in cities like Boston lived in blind alleys, cellars, and lofts. Their poor and unsanitary living conditions created rampant health problems and shortened their lifespans. Curry further states that in 1855, Boston City Register, Dr. Josiah Curtis found that the death rate among blacks was 99 times higher than that of whites. Today, 150 years later, the mortality gap between whites and blacks has narrowed only a little. Social pathology and inferior living conditions, not genetics, continue to control the life expectancy of blacks. In the 1960s, more than 55% of all blacks in America were still impoverished and below the poverty line. According to the 1990 census, approximately 40% of all black families are receiving public assistance. And the number is increasing with more than 56% of all black female-headed households beneath the poverty level. The National Urban League, 1992, stated in the, in, the, in the National Urban League 1992 State of Black America report indicated that the unemployment rate is approximately 28% for black adults and nearly 55% for black youth. The NUL, or the National Urban League, discomfort index further indicated that black unemployment worsened between 1960 and 1990. While economic conditions for white society improved, blacks earned 53% of what whites earned in 1948. In the 1990s, after nearly 50 years of civil rights activities and affirmative action programs, black earns, blacks earned 59% of what whites earned. The 1990 consensus indicated that blacks per capita net worth is $9,359 versus $44,980 for whites. Approximately 38% of all black males in America are either in prison, on parole, or probation. So, the Mile High Chess Club is dedicated to changing this situation. And honestly, I have no ask. What can I ask for? that my forebearers begged for and didn't receive. The time to take has come, for we can no longer wait. Thank you.